My dear students, let us discuss a shortcut method to solve these problems, which was given in NEAT, Waves chapter, okay? So what is the shortcut method here? Let us discuss about that. You can just see that in the question, the given first question here. It is said that velocity is 350 meters per second through warm water in, it is 3,500 meters per second in a brass, warm water and brass. Speeds are different. If you observe wavelength is 700, 700 it's not going to change. Wavelength is not going to change 700. But here, it enters from brass to warm water. It enters from brass to warm water. That is because a shortcut method for this. Now let us see here now. For example, you are taking one medium here. Let us take, this is a warm water. And let us take this is a brass. This is a brass, this is a warm water. Okay. And here waves are traveling. Here also waves are traveling here. Waves are traveling from through, uh, through two mediums we can say here. Okay. See here, if medium changes, frequency does not change. If medium changes, frequency does not change. Frequency remains constant. What is going to change? Either velocity changes or wavelength changes. But frequency is not going to change. You remember this concept. This shortcut will help you to solve the problem which is given here. Now, so from this it is understood that V is equal to N lambda. And lambda is going to be, I mean, frequency is going to be constant. Then what happens? What happens to this lambda? So with this it is understood that V is directly proportional to lambda. If you observe here, velocity increases by 10 times. Velocity increases by 10 times. As it is a direct relation, we can write even wavelength also increases by 10 times. Okay. So, C option is the correct answer. Wavelength also increases by 10 times. Because it's a direct related. It's direct related. This is a shortcut method here. So, if you observe the second question, it is given that y is equal to a sin omega t minus kx. Is it? Now, he is asking us, to, he is telling in the question that wave velocity equal to maximum particle velocity. Wave velocity is equal to maximum particle velocity. So, what is the wave velocity and what is the particle velocity? See here. Okay. So, velocity of a wave is equal to maximum particle velocity velocity okay so this is a given condition here so what is velocity wave velocity formula you know that i already told that omega is directly proportional to velocity angular velocity is directly proportional to linear velocity if you remove this proportionality you will get a constant k that is k v okay so here v is equal to omega by k v is equal to omega by k this v is said to be the velocity of a wave okay so you can write now v is equal to omega by k and what is this maximum particle velocity what is the formula for particular velocity it is nothing but omega into a that's it omega into a so here omega omega gets cancelled okay and what is asking us to find out he is asking us to find out the value of wavelength. How are you going to find out the value of wavelength? Now, you can just see what is left here now. 1 by k is equal to a. Okay. And you know k is nothing but 2 pi by lambda. You just substitute here now. 2 pi by lambda. 2 pi by lambda, which is nothing but a. So, from this, it is understood that your answer is going to be how much? Lambda. Lambda is nothing but 2 pi into a. That's it. Lambda is nothing but 2 pi into A. So your option is C. Hope you have enjoyed this. Thank you very much.